This is Queensland's Sunshine Coast. Superb beaches, national parks, a tourism playground. Rapid population growth has made this the fastest growing urban area in southeast Queensland. It's already the country's 10th largest community, larger than the cities of Canberra and Hobart. The breathtaking growth of the Sunshine Coast has unfortunately brought with it one of Australia's highest unemployment levels. This is an area of great vitality and promise. Governments at every level must balance preservation of the area's natural beauty with the urgent need to kickstart its economy. It can be done and it must be done. The Sunshine Coast Regional Arts and Exhibition Centre will be the economic, social and cultural powerhouse for the entire region. This landmark development will not only capitalise on an established art scene, but most importantly will drive jobs growth, tourism diversity and will attract new industry and investors. The arts industry itself is an economic gold mine with a growth rate of between 7 and 10 per cent, nearly tripled the growth rate of other economic sectors. We think of ourselves as a sporting nation and yet 80 per cent of Australians attend cultural activities, double the percentage of those attending sporting events. It's statistics like these that make the Sunshine Coast Regional Arts and Exhibition Centre an imperative. The drive for this multi-purpose facility is led by the region's three councils and supported by business and the community. An arts and exhibition centre is urgently needed on the Sunshine Coast. It's needed by a growing population that's becoming increasingly discerning. It will be used not only by the community generally, but by the educational community specifically. Tourism diversity on the Sunshine Coast is a major aim, and cultural tourism is a booming market. The worldwide conference market is worth $80 billion and four years ago Tourism Sunshine Coast took the initiative to set up a conference and incentive section. But to date we have been greatly restricted in our ability to host major cultural events, exhibitions and conferences. This new project is a great initiative that we are behind and nobody could underestimate the importance to tourism on the Sunshine Coast that this project would bring. The Queensland Government has already acknowledged the significance of this project, funding a feasibility study that concluded such a large-scale regional facility would provide a spearhead for the Sunshine Coast to diversify its economic base. The study confirmed that Maroochee Shire Council's vision for this centre was on target with these superb facilities. A tiered theatre with seating capacity for 1,500 people. Three exhibition galleries, capable of accommodating 75 exhibition booths or a 1,500 person banquet. A large foyer for functions, exhibitions and other events. Substantial in-house catering facilities, plus a standalone cafe with after-hours access. The study further found that the logical location was Maroochydore, designated by the State Government as the key regional centre for the Sunshine Coast within easy reach of the Sunshine Coast Airport and close to major road and rail links. The Sunshine Coast Regional Arts and Exhibition Centre will be an iconic building. It will represent the Sunshine Coast, our lifestyle, climate and character. And it will reflect our affinity with the water, our beaches and our rivers with an extended water spine providing both a visual delight and a means of transport for the centre's visitors. It will be, quite simply, a place of inspiration. Many people live enviable lifestyles here. Many do not. Some of our young people and others live on very limited incomes and benefits. We need this centre to provide genuine accessibility to the arts for all and at a level of quality and professionalism that our community deserves. The Sunshine Coast Regional Arts and Exhibition Centre is designed to be an economic driver all year round while meeting the criteria for clean, green industry. This centre will serve to strengthen the industries the Sunshine Coast has already in place. It's tourism, retailing and primary industry activities. The feasibility study highlights the need. Maroochee Shire Council has committed the land 
and other local governments in the region, plus local business and the community, are in full support. Without the Sunshine Coast Regional Performing Arts and Exhibition Centre, we will continue to fall behind other areas. Our community will remain culturally impoverished and our economy stagnate. This is not just a grand vision, but an economic imperative for the Sunshine Coast, one for which future generations will be truly thankful. We need your commitment now. The Sunshine Coast is projected to double its population within the next 15 years. These people will have much to contribute, but their future must be made secure. If you believe in regional growth, regional employment, economic development, cultural and social advancement, please give your support to the Sunshine Coast Regional Arts and Exhibition Centre. The people of the Sunshine Coast deserve nothing less. Um, thanks very much, Cam. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure on behalf of the uh, Sunshine Coast Sports Federation to join the push to finally get a convention, Entertainment and Arts Centre here on the Sunshine Coast. My interest in this um, crystallised earlier this year when uh, it was first mooted that there would be uh, a move forward by the Council, but there was at that stage no mention of sport. If we're planning to have a convention and entertainment centre, please don't overlook sport in the mix. Sport, at the end of the day, won't be a big player in this thing, but nevertheless there are significant opportunities to bring major events to this coast through indoor sports events. Uh, things in basketball, things in netball, things in indoor tennis, and a whole range of things. I mean, just imagine if we could get a round of the Commonwealth Games uh, in basketball here in 2018. Now, the timing is, of course, ambitious. Obviously, whatever facility we construct and have here needs to be multi-purpose so that we can cater for all of the things that Michael's mentioned and from my own point of view and my own interest from a, a sports perspective. Can I um, take this opportunity to congratulate Alison Barry-Jones who of course has been absolutely passionate and instrumental in getting us here tonight. I think uh, the number of people that are, that are attending here tonight, the number of people that have contacted Alison and expressed their strong views in supporting this push is indicative of the fact that I think the great majority of people on the Sunshine Coast want something to happen. I mean, the fact that we've been, this has been going on for 30 odd years, I think Michael mentioned, is, uh, is not good for the Sunshine Coast. Let me explain you a little bit how we're going to do this. And if I can pull this off, I'm going to be a hero, I know. First of all, everybody talked about why. We all know why. And I concur with, 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 with the previous speaker said, especially with Alison, you're a champion for this. Thank you very much throughout these years that what you've done for it. And we're going to get there, believe me, we're going to get there. Um, what we need is still open. Michael Bloss has done fantastic studies in it. There's been some Bradbury or Ranbury reports and everything like that. The size of it, we can discuss. What we need, we know. The problem with it is that nobody talked about it tonight is that don't build a square box like everybody else. Let's build something iconic. Let's build, no matter how many seats we need, no matter how many sport events we want, no matter how many uh, exhibition spaces we need, we need to build something that people come for, especially, even if it's just for the look outside of it. Rain has done a great concept already. Let's push it further. Let's, let's build an opera house type icon on the Sunshine Coast. Let's have something here on the Sunshine Coast, that if large companies do not have a conference on the Sunshine Coast, they're not in. You have to be in and cool to have a conference on the Sunshine Coast. That is how you're going to attract people to the Sunshine Coast. That's how we're going to fill your seats, Michael. That is how we're going to push the economy on the Sunshine Coast. Build something iconic. Have a look around the world. The places that boom are the places with iconic buildings. I've been in the event industry for a long time and uh, prior to that in tourism um, and I've seen lots of opportunities come and go in all centres across Queensland. Um, the way I see it on the Sunshine Coast currently, it's almost like uh, owning a clapped out car and uh, it's getting worse by the day and all of a sudden the family say, shit, 
we better fix the car. Where do we start? Do we get the tyres done or do we get the rego paid? Do we fix the insurance or maybe it needs a paint job, fix the smoking motor? You don't know where to start. And there's a lot of people who uh, want all of these things fixed at once because all of a sudden uh, people are starting to realise there's a real desperate need here for something to be done. What sorts of problems uh, was the other point I noted do um, event organisers come up against? Now, um, weather is a big issue. Now, currently in venues, uh, we've got an event on at uh, Stockland Park, the home show and the caravan camping uh, event, not this weekend, the following weekend. Um, you know, if it, if it pours rain, we've got real issues. Real issues, uh, possible flooding. Um, if it gets to a point where you can't get on the fields, uh, the facility has the right to close the fields, shut the event. Road access or main feeder roads uh, through uh, traffic lit intersections. Uh, most of the facilities you have for big crowds, it's very difficult. Stockland Park is one. And they've struggled with it. They've done the very best they can and they, they do a good job. Lack of basic services and, of course, parking and public transport. I mean, I've heard the argument people say, well, we need to use more public transport to get to events. Well, in Brisbane you can. You can in Brisbane uh, at, at uh, central venues. It works well. But on the Sunshine Coast, you've got a very decentralised community. Uh, if you lived at Noosa and had to attend an event at uh, Nambour, how do you get a public transport uh, combination to get you there? You simply can't. So I think, you know, the other thing that I thought about was what are you missing out on? Well, I'll give you an example. Tomorrow I'm going down to the local government uh, conference and expo. And it's being held in a bloody cow paddock at Caboolture. Now, there's nothing really wrong with a cow paddock. It looks fine and it, and it works well for Farm Fantastic, but come on. You know, there's an opportunity here for an event of that stature to be held in good facilities. And if someone said to me, uh, let's go to the conference with the local government expo and we've got a choice. It could be held at Caboolture, so we can stay in a motel in Caboolture, or we're going to have it on the Sunshine Coast. It doesn't take uh, a brain surgeon to work it out that, you know, the Sunshine Coast has far more appeal. You've got an airport here that serves, can, can serve international aircraft. Uh, it's, it's well set up. It's got opportunity to be expanded. You've got lots of things that other centres in Queensland simply do not have. All you need is people to get behind this cause, champion it, and have a very determined uh, view on what you want out of these facilities. In this digital age, in this time when capitalism and politics are becoming yesterday's news, it is only things that truly create and bond communities together that need to be supported. There are enough things and there are enough people, industries and academics tearing things down in our society. But those who can rally and truly build something special together, creating community once again, will be a community that I want to be a part of and continue to prosper in. The Sunshine Coast is on the, uh, the precipice of a cultural revolution. And uh, I say that in no, small, uh, in no small way. We have 12 active theatre companies on the Sunshine Coast, and I think that may be a shock to a lot of people. Uh, that's actually double what currently exists in Brisbane, our state's capital. These 12 active theatre companies last year alone sold 50,000 tickets at an average ticket price of 20 bucks a ticket, which as a local group of amateur theatre producers and people giving their own time and efforts put a million dollars into this local economy. So it is high time that this hobby, this arts and creative industry, is indeed considered an industry and taken seriously. We're the 10th largest population as of June this year. Now, the 10th largest population in Australia with, uh, with facilities, second rate and in some instances third rate, behind Mackay? Really? As a tourist destination, um, and there was, made, there was mention made before about the, the things that attract people to the coast. Now, for those of you who will think back, I think we've actually gone backwards in terms of our tourist attractions. Uh, for those of you who may remember Nostalgia Town, Olympia Theme Park, Superbeer, Dew Sanctuary, to name but a few. A study was recently done on the number of people who travelled to Brisbane. Uh, to see cultural events, and this was held through QPAC Performing Arts, uh, La Boite Theatre, Metro Arts, and indeed the Powerhouse uh, Theatre. Now, those organisations show that one in 14 people travel from the Sunshine Coast to Brisbane to attend these sorts of shows. So I am a strong advocate for the performing arts growing up, maturing, and, begin, and being considered an industry, an industry that it is with local talent that is growing every day and leaving our shores and leaving our coast and making a wonderful name for themselves in the industry, uh, interstate and overseas. 
that is a travesty in itself. Alison, I concur wholeheartedly with your sentiment around a cultural heart and a cultural hub. Ooh.